Problem. President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Today, the chamber continues to hear the testimony of uh, witness Ben Sia. And we also have a reserve witness that is to TCW904. And today we have a counsel Doug Parry and the duty counsel for the witness. Mr. M. Hoy, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Greffier. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Toutes les parties sont présentes. Mr. Nunji is present in Monsieur the holding Nunji cell downstairs. Est présent dans la cellule he has waived his tribunal. right to be present Il a in the courtroom. Son droit dans la the waiver has, has been delivered to the uh, greffier. Le document à cet effet a été remis au greffier. The witness who is to conclude his testimony today, that is Mr. Mansi, is present in the courtroom with his duty counsel. We also have a reserve witness, that is to TCW904, who confirms that to the best of his knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is Nunji and Kiyosam Porn or through any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness will take an oath before the chamber. President, thank you. The chamber now decides on a request by Nunji. The chamber has received a waiver from Nunji dated 6 October 2015, which states that due to his health, Headache, back pain. He cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 6th October 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nunji by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 6 October 2015, which notes that Nunji has chronic back pain and dizziness when he sits for long, and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information, and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunji his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audio-visual means. The chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunji can follow the proceedings. This applies to the whole day. Council Dutch Paris, do you have the floor? Mr. Dutch Paris, you want to ask the Deputy Council, good le morning, Mr. President, uh, Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les Juges. During the uh, proceedings, may I may take note of important uh, questions on my personal laptop? Note des questions importantes sur mon President. ordinateur personnel pendant. Le yes, uh, you may le do président. that oui, je vous during the proceedings uh, to hear this uh, witness. The chamber now hands the floor to the defense team for question to the witness first to the defense team for Q Sampon. I'm with the 
President uh, Rader, it's to the defense team for Nunchia. La défense de Nunchia qui a la parole en premier. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Good morning, Merci, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. And um, good morning, Mr. Bansiak. Um, I am the international co-counsel for Nunchia. And I would like to ask you some questions um, this morning. Um, I will be asking you um, many questions uh, about um, the rebellion in Kochmar after May 1978, um, about which you were asked many questions yesterday. Um, but do you know um, whether three years previously, in the same district, there had also been a rebellion. Um, a rebellion in Sveikleng, a rebellion in uh, Kopal, and possibly Tree Village. Were you aware of that? No, I did not know about non. any uh, rebellion before my arrival. Mm -hmm. And as I testified uh, yesterday, there was a rebellion by uh, Khmer people while I was Khmer. there, and Alors it was not initiated by the Cham people. Um, very well. Um, let me now go um, to Sector 42, 1976-1977. Um, um, I would like to read to you um, an excerpt from a, uh, a telegram, a telegram um, signed by uh, K-Pog. Uh, it's dated uh, April 1976. Mr. President, that's document E3 slash 952. Um, ERN English 001-82658. Khmer 00000766. And French 0035-0762, uh, uh, and up until 3. Um, Mr. Witness, the telegram is sent, as I said, from K. Pauk and is directed to um, Paul Pot. And um, I would like to read that excerpt to you, and then I would like to ask your um, comments, please. The enemy situation in the entire North Zone. Fundamentally, the enemy has not yet conducted any strong activity which has impacted the people or the production movement. In general, the situation is stable, but at the same time, they have carried out some activities. For example, they made propaganda that the revolution is strict. They made pro propaganda to resist the cooperatives and the new rice field dike system. And they made propaganda about hunger. Specifically, some activity has appeared in Chamkarlu district. The enemies are former soldiers in combination with the Cham and former Cooperative team chairman. They used copies of photo of Lon Nol and Nol, Nol's announcement of 18 March 1970 to, po to post on tree trunks near Chapying village in Champkarlu district and conducted other activities like burning forests and destroying uh, crops like bananas, papaya. Um, Mr. Witness, have you, were you aware at the time, or later maybe in 77, about such activities that, is, that are being described in this telegram?
No, I was not aware euh, of that. Non, je n'étais pas au courant. Because it was in the uh, later part of the year that Car I was reassigned from the fishing lot. C'était pendant la période de l'année où um, moi j'étais affecté à l'équipe de activities um, like burning down forests. Mais des activités comme euh um, apparently done by charm and and uh, qui, uh, soldiers. Um, Were you ever aware of that in 77? Uh, uh, or later? Or later? No, I wasn't aware of that. Um, you testified um, yesterday um, answering questions about. Yeah. Um, the sweeping clean uh, of uh, cadres in the former North Zone. And uh, in one of your uh, WRIs you say uh, they swept clean the leadership, meaning those who were affiliated with the CIA. Uh, can you explain to me what exactly um, do you mean when you said affiliated with the CIA. What does that mean? Qu'est-ce que cela signifie? Bad look. Chom pa ban dang tam bo bo dai thu ka brothers. Ce sont d'autres frères qui m'en ont parlé comme our zone put was the head of the CIA for that reason sweeping clean was started from the top down to the, uh, the bottom including a core persons or a group chiefs at the bottom level. Um, now of course uh, un as I'm sure you understood at the time, didn't literally mean that Khoitoun was the head of the CIA, because we all know the CIA is an American organization. What did Un mean when he said Khoitoun was quote unquote the head of the CIA? Que voulait dire Un quand il a dit que Khoitoun était à la tête de la CIA? He said in the uh, confession, he was the head of a CIA, and later on, Jay, the in-law of Un, was also arrested on the allegation that he was linked to the CIA network. In, in one of your WRIs, you said um, Koitoun was the head of the CIA, and you understood Sao Pim to be the head of the KGB in the East. Now we all know that the KGB is a, an organization that belonged to the Soviet Union, and we also know that Sao Pim wasn't Russian. Um, what did you mean when you said that Sao Pim was the head of the KGB in the East Zone. Witness, please hold on, and the Deputy Co-Prosecutor, do you have the floor? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. This is just a request if Council is going to uh, cite the quote this witness that he give us the year end and uh, document number so that we can ourselves review what, what the witness said. Um, I was referring, Mr. President, to E3 slash um, 375, um, English year end 0036-0757, French 0036-99119, and uh, Khmer 0034-879798, and it reads, um, they just informed us that Khoi Tun, alias Tuch, was the head of the CIA, and Sao Yan, alias Pim, was the head of the KGB in the East. Now, Mr. 
witness, as I said, uh, Salpin wasn't Russian and he wasn't the head of, literally the head of the KGB. Um, what did you understand that to mean at the time? I didn't really understand about that. They mentioned about the KGB and the CIA on the blackboard and that they were the dogs serving the American and serving the Yun. Are you saying in fact that um, being a KGB or being a CIA KGB or the CIA um, respectively means that uh, you are collaborating with the Vietnamese and collaborating with uh, the Americans? Is that what you mean? Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Um, let me now go to sector 42. Um, du sector before your in-law, Un, became chief of sector 42, um, do, you, do you know who before him was the chief of sector 42? Who was his predecessor? No, I did not. No. Does the name Toll ring a bell? Toll. Cela vous rappelle-t-il quelque chose? Réponse. I recall that Toll or Toll was from Batsna village, Batsna commune. No, Toll venait de Batsna. And was he, in fact, um, the Sector 42 chief um, until his arrest in 1977? Um, no, I did not know about that. Um, you said that yesterday you spoke quite a bit about yeah. Un, um, Un being the biological brother Un of uh, Susun, Susun. Uh, who you said uh, at one point died of uh, HIV, Un, the secretary of um, Sector 42. Um, do you recall another Un, uh, Un, who was the chief of Division 3, one chef de la division zero, 310 belonging to the former North Zone. No, I did not. No. What do you remember Question. about Koitum? What can you tell us about Koitoum? Who was he? Um, what, were, what were his functions? And why was he ultimately arrested? I cannot uh, recall that. He said that uh, Koitoum was uh, chief of the uh, Central Zone and later on uh, Minister of uh, Commerce. Um, and, and besides being um, quote unquote chief of the CIA, uh, what was your understanding that he had done wrong um, in order for him to be arrested? D'après vos connaissances, avait-il commis qui avait mené à son arrestation? No, I did not know about any other related Je activities. Pas au courant de ces autres activités.
Yesterday, um, you were confronted with an excerpt from uh, a WRI a statement uh, from K. Pauk's son, K. Pik Banak is his name. Um, Mr. President, that's document uh, E3 slash 35. Um, in English, page 0034614814. Command 0034056 um, uh, 2 and French. Council, please uh, repeat the uh, number again and do it slower this time. Uh, yes, I apologize, Mr. President. Um, Khmer 0034056. Zero five six two and French zero zero three six seven seven two zero. Um, the son of Cape Hawk speaks about Koitun and he speaks about um, um, the Division 310 Chairman Un and he says, and I quote, uh, Uncle Un was the chairman of Division 1, and also a former confidant and messenger of Grand Uncle Tuy. Now I realize you just said that you don't know any other Un, but do you know someone who was the chairman of Division 1, being a former confidant and messenger of Koitun? No, Réponse. I did not. No. Um, some time ago, uh, Mr. Witness, in uh, June 2015, uh, more specifically 22nd of June 2015, uh, we heard in this um, courtroom the testimony of a combatant belonging to Division 310. His name is uh, Sam Hun. Uh, Mr. President, that's document E1 slash uh, 319. And um, at that day, at around uh, 15.34, um, Sam Hun gives the following testimony, and I would like to read that to you and ask um, your reaction, please, Mr. Witness. Um, question. question. Let me start with your role in this rebellion. You said that Un gave you a platoon to lead and 655 trucks to transport weapons to hide in Kampong Cham. Did you in fact follow the, his orders, his instructions to hide weapons in Kampong Cham? And then answer, I did what was said in the document. Question, and where did you hide these weapons in Kampong Cham? Answer, I transported weapons to Kampong Cham and I handed over to Tol, the committee of the sector. I did not know where he kept those weapons. Um, now, Mr. Witness, this... Sam Hoon is testifying about all kinds Sam of other things. Uh, it all boils down to um, assembling weapons for uh, a rebellion, armed rebellion in the North Zone, um, led by Koi Thun uh, and Division Commander Un and Tol and others. When I read this to you, does that somehow sound familiar um, when you were um, in sector 42 at the time? No, I did not know about that because at that time I was abandoned at the fishing lots. I understand, but um, later you if I may call it like this, um, started to rise in the hierarchy. Uh, you were close to Cape Hauk, close to Un. Did they ever tell you anything about um, 
what happened in 77 in the former North Zone, why people were arrested. In, for instance, the very same district in which you later became the deputy, Jean-Carlou. Did they tell you anything about that? Vous en ont-ils parlé? Yes. Réponse. I was oui. told about that. Oui, on m'en a parlé. I was told that in the old uh, north zone or uh, the uh, central zone, uh, it was full uh, with the CIA uh, agents. Plein d'agents de la CIA. And, and what was the purpose of the activities of these quote-unquote CIA agents? Et quelle était la finalité des activités de ces agents de la CIA? Quel était leur objectif? I did not Réponse. know about their activities. Je ne savais rien de leurs activités. Have you ever heard that they tried to stage a coup d'état, uh, attack Pochentong Airport, um, close down the radio station, send troops to Phnom Penh? Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard of that? Yes, I heard about that. Oui, j'en ai entendu parler. I heard about them hiding ammunition under their shirt and they went to Phnom Penh, however, they were uh, all arrested. Can you be a little more specific? Uh, what else did they do other than hiding weapons and ammunition? Answer. Uh, je j'ai entendu uh, tout simplement dire des um, um, rebelles de Phnom Penh en All fait I ils avaient um, uh, caché des munitions sous leurs vêtements pour venir à Phnom Penh et une fois arrivés à Phnom Penh uh, leur secret a été percé donc ils ont été arrêtés et on disait que c'était une uh, uh, rébellion uh, fomentée par Khoi Thuon pour renverser Pol Pot uh, And do you know how this rebellion hatched by Khoi Thun was supposed to unfold? What were their plans? What, what did they want to do exactly? Réponse, non, je ne sais rien Answer. du tout de I know nothing cette at all rébellion. About that rébellion. Um, very well. Um, Mr. Witness, yesterday um, you spoke about um, an entity called the Labour Party, and in your um, written record of investigation, your WRI, you also spoke about um, the Workers' Party. Let me get for you the um, exact uh, quote. You said, <coughs> that's E3, uh, Mr. President, E3 slash 375, <coughs> English ERN 00, <coughs> excuse me, 360757, um, French 00369919, and um, Khmer 00348798. Um, in your WRI, you said, um, question, why were they considered as the CIA and KGB? And your answer is, I thought that at the time, chaos 
was stirred up due to the existence of three main parties. First, the Communist Party of Kampuchea, following Mao Zedong's guidelines. Second, Sarai Kar Party, CIA. And, and third, the Workers' Party, uh, KGB. And yesterday, um, according to the draft um, transcript, you said um, at around 15.20, to my knowledge, at my location, there were Khmer cadres who had been trained at Vietnam. They were part of Labour Party. And when the Vietnamese entered Cambodia, they were part of the force to build its own force on the ground. And later on, they had been purged. So on two different occasions, you speak about the Workers' Party. Um, what exactly was your understanding of the Workers' Party to be? Who were members, for instance? Qu'est-ce qu'était ce parti des travailleurs Qui était membre du parti des travailleurs, par exemple Réponse. Answer. Les agents de la KGB faisaient partie du KGB parti des travailleurs, agents, des, euh, party du parti des travailleurs de l'Indochine. Of Indochina. Leur chef euh, était Zaoyat alias Pum. Was euh, par la suite, Zagat je ne savais pas euh, ce qui s'est passé, mais j'ai entendu dire qu'il s'était suicidé euh, dans la zone est, ce qui a euh, contribué au, au ralliement des gens de la zone est au Vietnam. With the Vietnamese, they joined the Vietnamese. You said Sao Pim was the leader of the Workers' Party. Um, do you remember other members, prominent members of the Workers' Party of Kampuchea? Réponse non. Aucun. Answer no, none. Do you know when the Workers' Party was founded? Savez-vous quand ce parti a été fondé, le Parti des travailleurs? D'après Kalpo, qui était membre du Parti. Des travailleurs. Après, il, il a intégré le, le Parti communiste de Cambodge, mais d'après ce que je sais, le Parti des travailleurs a été fondé en 1967-68. Voilà, donc Kelpok uh, a quitté le Parti des travailleurs pour rejoindre le Parti communiste du Cambodge. And how do you know that the Workers' Party was founded in 1967? What's the source of your knowledge? Kaepok a parlé de sa vie dans la jungle en 1953 et 1954 durant sa, sa lutte et il travaillait à l'époque pour le parti du, euh, des travailleurs et ensuite il a euh, adhéré le parti communiste de Cambodge et je lui ai posé la question de savoir pourquoi il y, a, euh, il y avait autant de perturbations dans le pays there was so much turbulence in the country uh, and the answer um, by saying that dangereux pour lui de uh, d'intégrer um, le parti communiste de Cambodge et dans la zone to join the Cambodge communist il a, party in the central um, zone il y avait des problèmes aussi et que there were also avant, il était à Siem Reap et il avait and été intégré he said that he had been in Siem Reap and he had joined the central zone subsequently In your um, WRI, 
the same that I just referred to, Mr. President, E3-375. Um, when you mentioned um, the Workers' Party, uh, KGB, you said, and I quote, if you want to get more details about this, you can ask Moon, who now lives and sells gasoline in Andong Beng, who was the wife of Pek Ching, alias Tato who was former Cambodian ambassador to China during the DK period. Um, why is Moon someone who can tell us something more or give more details about the Workers' Party? Parce qu'il euh, était quelqu'un d'important, son mari, euh, elle était quelqu'un d'important, son mari était ambassadeur, donc euh, elle l'a eu vent de beaucoup de choses. Did you yourself ever talk to Moon uh, about the Workers' Party? And did she give you details about its existence and its goals? ses objectifs, sa mission. Non, jamais. Answer, never. Do you know if uh, Moon is still alive today? La réponse Hello. Je ne Answer. la vois plus depuis quelques années. Avant, je la voyais aux now. stations service devant une the pagode past, de Anlongweng. In front of a petrol station at a pagoda in front of uh, in Anlongweng at a pagoda in Anlongweng. Uh, just to be sure, in my translation, I hear uh, you referring to Moon as a he but it Vous is in fact a woman, is, is that correct? Dans ma traduction, mais c'est une femme, nous sommes bien d'accord. Oui, c'est une femme, c'est l'épouse de yes, Petien alias Tro, qui était ambassadeur alias en Chine. Who was ambassador in China. Um, Mr. Witness, yesterday, on a few occasions, you um, mentioned the names of uh, Heng Samrin and Chia Sim, respectively. Um, can you tell us uh, who was Heng Samrin? Réponse. J'ai entendu dire que Heng Samrin était chef de l'armée de la zone est et Tiesim était chef du secteur 22. Je vais revenir à Tiesim dans un moment. Let me first ask you some, something more about Heng Samrin. You said he was the commander of the East Zone forces. Um, from when, uh, or, or when rather, did he become uh, the chief of the East Zone military forces? Chef des forces militaires de la zone Est. Je ne sais pas. Answer: I do not know. Um, what else do you know about him? Question, et que savez-vous d'autre à son propos? Non, je ne sais rien d'autre de lui. Answer, I know nothing else about him. Um, do you know whether he had a sister who was married to Sector 21 Secretary um, Tuchchem, alias Sot. Sot. 
Non, je ne sais pas. Answer? No, I do not know. Um, the son of Cape Hawk, um, Question, le fils de Cape Hawk. Also talked about uh, Heng Samrin. Parle également de Heng Samrin. Uh, E3 35, E3 Mr. 35, um, Mr. President. Um, English ERN 0034615315. Um, and Khmer 00340567 and French 00367725. Um, he, the son of Kepa, concurs with you that Heng Samrin was in fact um, chief of the military division in the East Zone. Um, but he also says that Heng Samrin was chairman of uh, Sector 20 in the East Zone. Can you confirm that or is that something that you don't know? Réponse, non, je n'en ne, sais rien du tout. Answer, no, I know absolutely nothing about that. Um, let me now read to you something that... Allez-y, monsieur le procureur adjoint. Deputy prosecutor, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd just like counsel, if he could, to identify where it was, where it is that Kai Pak's son says that Heng Samran was the head of the zone military. Uh, just because I, I'm not seeing that, I see a statement that Heng Samran was the chairman of, of Sector 20 and of the military division unit. Um, so if he could specify where it is that Kai Pak's son says this, uh, I'd appreciate it. Um, that's the exact same sentence that I was referring to. That's how I interpret um, K. Pak's son uh, statement. Um, Heng Samrin himself um, acknowledges in his own statement that he was chief, deputy chief of all East Zone military forces. Um, so either he was um, chief or, according to himself, deputy chief. Um, returning now to Heng Samrin. Um, uh, Maître, veuillez donner uh, les codes de documents ainsi Council, que les numéros as well as ERN. Il semble que vous essayez d'éviter de it nous donner les références précises. Hier, vous avez fait beaucoup d'objections quant à l'accusation, poser des questions qui ne relèvent pas de la portée uh, de ce procès uh, concernant le traitement des charmes. Et maintenant, vous essayez de suivre votre propre voie consistant à ne pas répondre à, à l'observation du procureur qui euh, vous demande le, le document, enfin, la cote de document, ainsi que euh, les références ERN. Um, well, Mr. President, I just actually gave um, the document number and the year ends, but I will be very happy to do it again. Um, so it's the same numbers, as I said, it's English 00346153, and Khmer 00340567, and French 00367725, and I will read it to you so that there is no confusion. Allez-y, Monsieur le juge Lavergne. Oui, me couper, sauf si j'ai mal entendu, il m'a semblé que vous faisiez aussi référence à une déclaration de Heng Samrin lui-même. Je n'ai pas entendu les références de, cette, de ce, ce document ni aucun IRN. They are referring to. 
I was referring to Heng Semin's own statement in response um, to the objection or the observation of the prosecution. Um, uh, you can find his own statement um, in E3 um, slash 1568 and E3 slash 1539. But my, I myself was in fact um, quoting the statement of K. Park's son. And there he says, um, and I quote, at the time, Uncle Heng Samrin was the chairman of Sector 20 and of the military division unit. So uh, there we have it. Now, um, Mr. Witness, I was about to read you something from that very same statement, that very same paragraph about Heng Samrin, and I would like to ask your comment. Um, K. Pauk's son is asked the following question. When you worked with your father, did you see any notab noticeable events taking place? And then K. Pauk's son answers as follows. I recalled the purging event of the East Zone cadres. The purging took place in two phases. In the first phase, there was an order from the center to arrest Heng Samrin. After receiving that information order, my father went to meet with Sao Pim. My father told Sao Pim, brother, the upper echelon orders the arrest of Comrade Heng. Sao Pim replied, So, Pauk, you send A Heng to my house. After my father informed Uncle Heng about that, Uncle Heng disappeared forever. At that time, Uncle Heng Samrin was the chairman of Sector 20 and of the military division unit. Um, let me ask you something about this particular excerpt, Mr. Witness. Do you know anything about uh, this event that I just described uh, from the WRI of K. Pauk's son about the order of the center to arrest Heng Samrin? Réponse, non. Answer, no. Parce que Vanna était un messager was de Kepok même. messenger. C'est pour ça qu'il qu a appris cet événement. And that is how he came to know about that event. My last question about Heng Samrim, and then I will move on to uh, Chia Sim, whom you mentioned also yesterday. Um, you said that um, Sao Pim was the leader of the Workers' Party. Do you know whether Heng Samrin himself was also a member of the Workers' Party? Réponse, non. Je n'en ai aucune idée. No, I have absolutely no idea about that. Um, now let me move on to, as I said, Chia Sim. You mentioned him uh, a few times yesterday, and you also mentioned him quite a bit in your um, statements. Um, but you said that Chia Sim was um, the chief of Sector 22 in the East Zone. How do you know that? Réponse. Quand j'ai été affecté à Croachma, on m'a dit que Kiesim avait trahi le parti et qu'il était chef de section 22 et qu'il a pris la fuite. Donc il fallait que je s'y rende pour réorganiser la base de la base. Pour résumer, on a dit que la zone est a trahi Ankara. The East Zone had betrayed Ankar. Um, is it 
possible that you are making an error um, when you said that he is um, he was a member of Sector 22, because it seems that he was in fact um, a sector chief in um, uh, Sector 20. Is that possible? Le président, vous êtes en train de poser des questions orientées ou vous êtes en train de modifier la réponse de, du témoin. Vous faites des suggestions ou rejetez la réponse du témoin. Euh, monsieur le témoin, ne me répondez pas à ce genre de questions. Monsieur le procureur international, allez-y. President, international co-prosecutor, please proceed. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. President. Um, uh, yes, I, I agree that if he wants to confront the witness, he should be using some evidence. Um, what he just put to the witness is a misstatement. Um, there are plenty of records that establish what the role of this individual was, and it was not chief of, of, of a sector. Um, I'm not sure, Mr. President, if the prosecution um, um, knows the evidence well, because in his own statement, GSM E3-1568, ERN 00651. Uh, tout le monde n'est pas au courant de tout cela. Si tout le monde était au courant de cet événement, il n'y aurait pas besoin d'interroger le témoin à ce sujet. Donc veuillez nous donner des preuves qui permettent d'établir le contraire pour interroger le témoin. Vous n'êtes pas là à suggérer des choses au témoin pendant l'interrogatoire. Et là, je vois que vous riez. Qu'est-ce que cela veut dire Vous êtes en train de vous moquer de moi, de nous. I see you laughing. Are you making a mockery of me? No, no, not at all, Mr. President. Um, because I was actually on the, on, on the verge of saying that according to his own statement, E3 slash 1568, he says, I was secretary of Bonnier District and a member of the Region 20 Committee, not a member of its standing committee. It is actually confirmed by um, the prosecution's uh, own, between uh, brackets, um, expert, Craig Atchison, who says in E3-494 that GSM was secretary of Sector 20. Uh, so uh, I'm not making it up, and I'm asking the witness whether possibly um, he made a mistake. Uh, if not, it, then it's fine. Thank you. This is why he needs to identify the evidence. The, the, he, the quote he just read says he was a district secretary and a small M member of the sector committee, not even a, a member of the, a three person of the three person standing committee. So to say this, to represent to this court, this means he was the sector secretary when he is saying he was a district secretary is it, simply wrong. And that's why he needs to uh, use the actual evidence and not characterize himself. Uh, I know it's, it's not something that people like, Mr. President, to talk about GSM or Hen Samlin, but he says himself, uh, I'm a member of the region committee, not a member of its standing committee. So he is himself saying that he was in Sector 20. So my question again, Mr. Witness, you said GSM was in Sector 22. Is it maybe possible that he was in fact in Sector 20? Je n'en sais rien. Answer? I know nothing Quand, about euh, au travail, Sonsen a dit que Thiessim était Sonsen euh, le secrétaire de la, euh, du secteur Thiessim. 22. Had been secretary euh, of sector number 22. Bah, je, ne pouvais, je ne peux pas vous dire s'il était euh, le chef du secteur. I cannot tell you whether or not he was secretary of sector number 20 or not. Uh, no problem. Um, 
Now another question about um, the sectors in the East Zone. You said that um, Crouchmar was in sector 22. Um, are you sure about that? Oui, c'est ce qu'on m'a dit. That is what I was told. Le district de Kochma était rattaché au secteur 22. Was attached to sector number 22. C'est ce qu'on m'a dit. That is what I heard during that period. Um, again, there's there's. Substantial evidence to suggest that Krochmar was in fact in sector 21 uh, and that you might have been wrong. Do you know who was um, in charge of sector 21? Réponse, no. Answer, no, I don't. Have you ever heard of someone with the name Ukbunchun? Jamais entendu parler de Ukbunchun. Non, jamais. No, I have never heard of him. Now let me get back to Chia Sim. Um, you said um, in uh, your WRI and, and just now as well that Chia Sim um, fled to Vietnam and uh, had broken away from the East Zone to go to Vietnam. Um, can you tell us how you knew this, how you know that? Quand euh, euh, j'ai été affecté well, à Krochma, on m'a raconté le tout. Um, on a dit story. que Sao Prem était traître et que Sao Prem avait pris la jungle avec Chiesim. C'est pour cela que j'ai appris cet événement et Chiesim était le chef du secteur 22. Of, uh, sector 22. Do you know whether Chia Sim Question. was also a member of the Workers' Party, Sim like Sao Pim? Chia Sim was also a member of the Workers' Party, like Sao Pim. Tout comme Sao Pim. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez patienter quelques instants. Allez-y. Yes, just an observation and something that I think Council uh, needs to clarify in this question. Um, there was, of course, the, the Workers' Party of Campuchia was, of course, the name of the Communist Party of Campuchia um, from 1960 until 1972. Um, so there was. This was the prior name of the Communist Party of Campuchia. And then there was a uh, workers' party that was, if you will, the fictional product of S21 Confessions. Um, so I think Council needs to be clear when he's using the term workers' party which, uh, which entity he's referring to and what the basis of the witness knowledge is also. Um, well, I'm not sure if it's the fictional product of S21, Mr. President, um, but um, I'm very happy to um, phrase my question as such that, you, that the witness understand that I'm talking about 78. Um, Mr. Witness, Sao Pim, you said, was the leader of the Workers' Party um, when he fled. Was that in 78? What I know is that uh, when I went there, I was told that uh, Chisim was part of CIA and betrayed the party. And they spoke about the Workers' Party in relation to the uh, Indochina Federation. Let me now
turn to um, what you found or what you saw Je when you arrived in the East Zone vu um, vous êtes, uh, in um, enfin, vous vous uh, the summer, est, or rather May or June 78 or, or, or later. You said that uh, when you arrived in the East Zone, you you the, you the situation was uh, in chaos. Um, because there were many different groups in that sector. Il y avait différents groupes dans um, ce I'll be happy to give the exact Et quote for this, um, Mr. President. Le président la cote. Et une citation. That's um, E319 slash 28.3.1. Et c'est un extrait it's uh, question A3, question an answer. 83. It says, la réponse, um, the East Zone Et was in chaos then because there were many different groups in that sector. Um, Mr. Witness, what exactly Monsieur did you mean when you said the East, when you came there, the East Zone was in chaos and there were many different groups in that sector? Upon my arrival, Réponse. the situation was tense. À mon arrivée, la situation était Since très tendue. GSM and uh, Heinz Ren actually GSM had formed the Salvation Front, avait créé le and front I du learned salut. from my brothers that they Et had done that, and that we had to be uh, vigilant uh, with the uh, militia force. That's how I was told. C'est ce que l'on a dit. Question. Um, so that was one of the groups uh, you said Donc, that you uh, saw when you arrived in the East Zone. You speak about many different groups there. De beaucoup mm. de groupes différents. What do you mean um, when you speak about many different que groups? Vous dire quand vous parlez de beaucoup de groupes différents? What I uh, meant is that uh, when I arrived, uh, there was a rebellion dit, by the uh, mobile uh, unit uh, du groupe des unités mobiles. That is about 10 days after my arrival. De jours après mon and then uh, the purge was carried out. Et, uh, I will speak to you at length um, after the break about pause, that particular rebellion. Um, are you saying that the people involved in that rebellion were different from the group uh, that you described as the National Salvation Front under the leadership of Heng Samrin and Chiesim? Yes, that is correct. Exact. Um, were there any other groups active in the East Zone other than those two groups when you arrived? No, there wasn't. No. Um, have you ever learned Question. whether there was any connection between this one group um, entre ce group that orchestrated the rebellion ce group qui and on the other hand révolté. the National Salvation uh, Front, le front du were they interconnected? But look. Yes, réponse. they said that the oui. rebellious people oui, were the uh, KGB, and Chiesim and Heisman were accused of uh, KGB as well. Accusé, eux aussi, de faire partie du KGB. But do you know Question. whether they were actively working together, these two groups? Ces deux groupes. It is uh, my understanding that uh, it was active. 
ma compréhension est qu'il... It seems that uh, the situation was ripe for uh, people to rebel et que la and that they were not satisfied with the leadership of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Before I turn to uh, the rebellion that you described at length, um, do you know whether there was at the same time also um, fighting going on between uh, forces and Vietnamese troops uh, at the border between Cambodia uh, and Vietnam? I knew it for sure oui, je le savais uh, that uh, there were water clashes uh, since uh, there were uh, many dead uh, soldiers who were transported back. Qui été du front. And what can you tell Question. us um, about details of the fighting? What, what was going on exactly que other than you seeing um, dead soldiers que coming back? Que vous avez vu I do not know how to describe the event in detail. Um, in his WRI, uh, K. Park's son uh, speaks about uh, 30,000 dead Khmer Rouge soldiers um, because of the fighting at the border with the Vietnamese. Um, can you react on that number? Pouvez-vous réagir à ce chiffre I saw many uh, soldiers who were either dead or wounded and they were transported by hundreds of trucks uh, every day. Transportés par centaines de camions tous les jours. And we learned from the uh, wounded soldiers about uh, the uh, casualties. Nous ont parlé, enfin, nous ont parlé du nombre de morts. And uh, it happened so quick that not for long uh, they reached our location. Et ça s'est fait très vite et bien rapidement ils sont arrivés jusqu'à nous. Um, but he's, new, he's, he's using a specific number, 30,000. Um, what is your recollection of casualties? Um, Que vous souvenez -vous at the du de quote unquote Khmer Rouge site. What, what have you heard at the time you were stationed in the East Zone? Post Post no, I did not know any sp uh, specific Je figure. Pas de chiffre précis. Bah, Le président. President, it is time appropriate uh, for a short break. We'll take a break now and uh, resume at 10.30. Court officer, please assist the witness during the break and invite him as well as his duty counsel back into the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now in recess.